You know, a new day is dawning for people who love to fly drones, those unmanned aerial vehicles. Yeah, the federal government on Monday said that people will soon have to start registering them, and it's now working out the details. Scott Logan examines what that process might look like. He's watching out for you. Technically, you're supposed to fly them at 400 feet, five miles from an airport, and not your congested areas like stadiums or over crowds. Patrick Harper runs Idaho Drone Company, which sells the aircraft online. He says rules regulating drones already exist, but are often violated, especially by rookie operators. He welcomes the new government effort to enforce accountability. People just need to have an understanding of what they're getting into before they buy one and before they fly, so they, under, so they just kind of keep everybody safe. Some estimates indicate that more than a million drones could be sold this coming holiday season, and the federal government wants to have some sort of regulation process set up by then. No size limits have been established, but the Department of Transportation says toy or simple small drones will be exempt. The focus is on larger, more sophisticated versions. It sounds like uh, you're going to have to register it with a DMV. They're going to give you like an N number like they do on an aircraft. Um, so they know that a person that buys that drone, they're going to know that person's name, their address. So if, if there's a situation where they got to contact them, you know, that's the easiest way. Because now it's just a free-for-all. Scott Logan, KBY2 News, Boise. Now, one of the challenges to federal regulations is what Scott just showed us, the fact that drones come in all sizes and price ranges. You can spend less than $50 for one that fits in the palm of your hand, or as much as $2,000 for a larger version with state-of-the-art cameras.